so I don't want to be offensive to you here. But but you got you got to realize something. You got to realize something here. What takes place is you start pulling in folk who are like you. See, see, anybody want to hang around folk who are like them? They form cliques in the church. But but my daughter my daughter down in Louisiana had a, a, a we had a couple in our church down there I won't tell you who they are but they was contemplating divorce. She called me. She said I can't minister to you in that area on how to keep your marriage because I divorced because I didn't have enough faith to believe God could turn it around. She said but hear my apostle number and we got those people are in our church and they still. Yeah. I laid hands on him. He cried like a baby. He said, I love my wife. I don't know what got in me. I say, I know what got in you, but it just got out of you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? And Hamlin called me all the time. Tell me, thank you. So you got to be careful who, click, who you click up with. You can't tell me I'm a, if, if, if Pastor Davis is, is, is slipping and tipping. He not. Don't leave out of here alive. I say if under the condition that he was, me and him ain't gonna have a whole lot of fellowship. Cause my spirit is not in agreement with that. That's right. That's right. And I realize if I got a white suit on and I keep on rubbing up against dirt sooner or later, it's gonna get on me. Y'all don't want me to preach like that. Look at your neighbor and say, "Be careful what you hang with." It'll get on you. Mm, God. If you fall in, and, and, uh, and let me say this: if you falling and going crazy under this covering, you might not be able to be saved. I ain't gonna tell no lie. I'm telling you the power of God that I experienced in my own personal life. I'd be scared. I said, "Why? I can't even talk like some of y'all. Why would you let them get He say they don't have what you got." See, when God invests in you on some certain levels, you can't get away with what other folk get away with. That's true. I go home and I have nightmares and headaches because I know I'm giving these people the word of God on a regular basis, but I don't see the fruit of the word that I'm, y'all don't hear what I'm saying. And my wife keep on saying, baby, baby, get that. somebody going to get it. Just, just, just the folks that's getting it. It's Bill. But, but, but we should, see, when you're really getting this word, it got to, it's like a laxative, baby. It's going to get the mess out you. Some of these folks shouting, still plugged up. This word going to get the mess out you. I'm almost there. Watch this. Watch this. He says, turn from your wicked ways. Then will I hear. Then. That means afterward. Only afterward. Only after. You turn from your wicked ways. Only after you pray. Watch this. Only after you humble yourself. Only after you seek his faith. Then will he hear from heaven. Many people in the church pray. Heaven ain't hearing you. Come on. Come on now. If you ain't humble. I can't tell some of y'all something right now. You ain't hear nothing. You'll still go home and argue. Still go home with an attitude. And the fact of the matter is, I had an attitude all week. How? Oh, uh huh, boy. I disturbed that one, didn't I? And know the word is saying. Don't let the sun go down on your wrath. And know. That if you leave here tonight, heaven ain't your home. Right, then will you watch this? Then will I hear from heaven? So if you have not met the essential requirement, if you ain't humbled yourself, if you ain't prayed sincerely and believed what you were praying and heard back from God, if you haven't sought His faith for direction and instruction, if you haven't turned, if the, if the word that if the word that God gave you haven't turned nothing. Yeah. See, the real word of God ought to turn something, ought to change something in you. It ought to shift something in you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Glory to God. Look at your neighbor and say, can you hear me now? Can you hear me now? 
remember a young lady was in our church. I won't tell you who she is. But she said, I preached about fornication one night. She said, I went home and put him out. She said, what was wrong with me? I said, the power of God found the guy in She said, Pastor, I was mad. I started throwing stuff. Get out! Get out! She said, you're supposed to be nice. She said, but I wasn't nice. Because I've been here two years being used like this. Desperate. Putting up with anything. Tolerating anything. She said, now nah, I got an attitude. I said, now nah, you're the wretch of altitude. See, when you get mad with the devil and look at all the time you done wasted, all oh, you kept you bound up, tricked up, and deceived into thinking that you were justified in your sinful action, that devil is a liar. Oh God, Jones, you're gonna preach like you lost your mind here. Okay, I gotta I gotta go, I gotta close up here. I'm, I'm finding my way to shut down. My wife, I feel her pulling on my toe. Uh -huh. Y'all pray for her. See. Then I will hear from heaven. So if I ain't turned, God ain't hearing me. So that means I'm praying in vain. I knew that our intercessory altar was going to shrink. Because a lot of them folk were praying in vain. God showed me before that. That's why I ain't stressed all out. And brother, so-and-so, I, I don't even have a way to answer. Because there had not been no turn. So the things they're on the altar praying for are not happening. That's good, that's good. So now they're getting wore out with prayer. Yes, sir. And it's easier for them to say that God ain't answering their prayers oh. rather than admit I ain't turned from my wicked ways. Oh God. I'm up in there now, boy. Well, I'm pretty good now. Watch this here. See, I can talk about my church. I can't talk about y'all. Y'all y'all get upset. But they know I ain't lying. Uh -huh. uh, watch this. And he says, when I hear from heaven, then I'll forgive their sin. Wait a minute. We're not only wicked. We're not only, watch this, not being heard of heaven. But we got sin. I ain't seen it. I ain't done nothing. been around folk that's so desperate to have women and men in their life. Do they just take anything? They used to get mad with me. I'm going to preach in there. Go ahead and sit on the steps and cool off. Just desperate. Don't know nothing about it. You don't need no bed partner, you need a prayer partner. Get rid of that youthful lust. The Bible says flee it. Run from it. Yeah, I love that. Sister Summer, so did you see her? She got she got somebody I know I could give me somebody if she got somebody. What she got to do with you? In competition with one another. And ain't now one of y'all got nothing. Both of y'all got something, but it still ain't got nothing. I ain't paying no bill. Ain't even come to you decent. When God man come to you, he gonna come to you decent. I ain't come to my wife wrong. Come to her with respect. I was trying to build a, I was trying to build a life. I wasn't looking for no exciting night. Women in a day and don't hear from her for a month. Now you're wounded again. Now come low self-esteem back to the door. Just took it back from where he preached that deliverance and brought her out and 
I just took her back. 